It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. Alright, everybody, welcome back to my Let's Play of The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. As you can see, my <laughs> win streak posted is at 1. I have a little bit to talk about on this episode. Of course... Of course, I start with two amazing items, Mom's Knife and Book of Revelations. Hopefully, this isn't a bad trip. It was, but that doesn't kill my spirits too much. I'm very slow. Oh, that is scary. Let's not do that again. Like I was saying, I have a bit to talk about. When I recorded the last episode, I forgot to turn my mic on. That was a little bit sad. Especially since that was my first win in such a long ass time. So I really would have been nice if I didn't lose that HP. Hopefully I get it back before I lose all of it. You probably didn't miss too much commentary wise last time. But there was one thing I was talking about. The Halo is goddamn amazing. My speed's up to snuff now. I got some HP. I'll be pretty upset if I lose this one. Should probably try to get to five cents to up my chances even more. Also, I should stop dawdling. Mm, that wasn't good either. But there is a battery charge there. I can pick up, get some more HP after I use the charge from Book of Revelations. So you're really going to skip over my knife like that. But as I was saying, there was one thing I was talking about in the last recording that warrants to be heard because I've never heard anyone talk about it before but I haven't really watched too many people play Isaac other than one other fellow Canadian and he's probably the most famous Isaac player but anyways don't want to walk into that and blow myself up. That would really suck. It was the fact that I had Humbling Bundle. And I was going on a rant. Thank you, Paul Bandages, by the way. About how if you have hum Humbling Bundle and you come across a room that has a bunch of pennies everywhere. They'll all be doubled. But if they're luck ups, because the pennies are luck ups, they'll just be single pennies. It didn't happen to me, I just, it didn't happen to me on that run, but it happened to me before and I noticed it and I thought it was worth talking about. But the other point was, why not just pick up all the pennies regardless? Because if you have 99 cents, you don't really want to waste your time. Loki's horns is fantastic. You can do a sword dance for all you 
Pokemon fans out there. Anyways, you get the gist of what I was trying to say. But the moral of the story is, humbling bundle, always pick up the single pennies. Because you will get luck ups. Also, I don't know what else I talked about. I'm sure there was other stuff that was worth bringing up again. But I'm probably just going to get it mixed up with other videos anyways, so... I might just be repeating myself a lot. So I'll just go on to the next floor and unless something goes terribly wrong, it should be my second win. And I feel really good because I just got Mr. Dolly and Book of Sin that gave me a penny. That's not what I was going to say, though. The person that introduced me to this game is not the fellow Canadian I was talking about previously. Although I watched him before I played Isaac or I even knew what it was. My friend at work taught me about, or showed me this game. Said I might like playing it. I kind of looked at it like, whoa, get out of the way of these bombs. Like, the hell is this game? It's just, actually, I didn't mind the way it looked, but it's mostly, I kind of had some kind of stigma against um, games that had random generation. I never played one before. So I always kind of, Figured, oh, it can't be that great because it's just always generating new things every every time you go through the game. Like, I don't know, it just didn't make sense to me. If a game that didn't have a set story or a set design, but after a while. I was just bored, and I got Isaac on my 3DS, and I decided to play it, because I bought it. <laughs> Sorry, I was a bit distracted. And I was like, this is actually really sweet. It took me a really long time to understand how the game worked. Well, that was really good, Loki's horns. But once I got into it, it actually really stuck with me and a really good game, as you may or may not be aware of. Usually don't take the ladder, but might as well, it's on sale. The point of me saying that is, right before I recorded this, that friend that introduced me to this game, son of a bitch, messaged me, I tried to stick with the get out of jail free card last time, I ended up dropping it somewhere. 
But this time I might want to go try Mega Satan. He messaged me and told me that he's been watching my Isaac episodes and that he really, really likes them. And he's sorry about my Eden streak. Little does he know he's only on the third episode. And I had about 15 losses after that. So hopefully he doesn't stop watching by the time this one comes out. But anyways, he said he thinks I should do a Judas streak. And I, I was thinking that a lot too. I really like Judas. And I would have just started it. I was wondering why I was getting so many cubes of meat. Book of Revelations. Might as well go for the bandage girl dream. <laughs> Which isn't really, well, that's not too bad. Once again, I forgot what I was talking about, and let's take myself a, oop, that wasn't too bad, oop, that was okay. Multi-dimensional baby, good thing there was spirit hearts in there, because I wasn't really too sure of my health. Oh yeah, but I was talking about the Judas, the Judas runs. I really like that character, and I probably would have started it if I was still on my losing streak. But I just got that win when I recorded it. So I think I'm just going to stick with Eden until I lose, and when I lose, I will definitely do Judas. I'm going to say when I lose, like it's going to happen probably for sure. But I'm trying, I'm trying to avoid that from happening. I should really be dropping bombs on this motherfucker. See, after all those a crappy RNG and crappy play, I think I'll I'll take this. This mom's knife, book of revelations situation I have going on is pretty damn all right with me right now. I know on a episode I went all out saying mom's knife is kind of overrated. You know for a fact that if I knew how much health I had, I would go nuts on this thing. One more. <sighs> Might as well take it. What was that again? Death card. I'm just getting out of here. I wouldn't mind that card back though. Pretty happy that that demon judgment paid out before I died. Because I do have the PJs, so.
Ooh, that was a little bit scary. So I feel confident that on the next floor I'll have a decent amount of health. I can't remember the way. Let's see what's in here first. Nothing worth talking about. I could use the blood bank. But I have no idea how much HP I have. But yeah, so when this streak comes to an end, Samson's chains, why not? Probably because it can blow your, you can blow yourself up with it. But I'm willing to risk getting hurt a couple times. I could hold off on using Book of Revelations just so I don't get uh, another one of the four horsemen, but the items I have are all not too shabby, so I don't really care sacrificing a random item to face a uh, One of the four horsemen. Might as well do that right now to get back to full HP. I don't want the cracked dice. I could be wrong, but I think it teleports you. It may also... Oh, I think I know what it does. I think if you get hit, it makes an effect from one of the dice to activate, like the D6 or possibly the D4, maybe even D100. And I'm not too interested in that situation. Let's see what's in here. Another demon judgment. I s to give it a couple plays. There is a spirit heart on the ground. And ceremonial robes. It it's all right. game had to fuck me a lot before I, oops, my finger slipped and I used ghetto jail free card. A good thing this isn't a situation where I have to fight Mega Satan. Red flames are really kicking my ass right now. Thanks. Could use the moon card to get out of boss rush. I have third level bandage girl, which is decent. I have the pentagram, which is really decent, and don't walk into the damn TNT barrels. I almost used the moon card to check out the secret room. Then I realized that was a bad idea. Now all I have to do is get to boss rush in time with Abel. And stop picking up things so I can actually shoot. Amnesia sucks. Pheromones. Oh. Way to stand right in this line of fire. 
Range down sucks. Amnesia is probably my least favorite pill because I hate not being able to see where I'm going. Also, I know that you can shoot on an angle. It just wasn't working quite right for me there. I usually use the buttons to shoot. So I'm really used to it. But I'll probably aim better with Mom's knife if I use the not buttons, whatever those are called, the joystick situation. Three dollar bill makes me slightly nervous, but I think I can live with it. Also, I'm running a little bit of tight, a little tight on time for boss rush. Luck up's good. Temperance is good. To see if I get some kind of payout from it. Tit rock's good too. Emperor, Empress, Moon card. Let's get the hell to the boss room. Spirit Heart's useful. I might go back and get it, even though it might cost me bus boss rush. Let's go kill the shit out of mom. Come on, mom. Where you at? No deal with the devil. Take the Polaroid. Going here. Eden's blessing. Harlequin baby. The aura stat thing. I can't remember what it's called. I think that's poison tears. Should get Eden's blessing. But. Ah, uh, so hard to decide. I think I'll go with Eden's Blessing because it's a little more fun. And for a second, I forgot I had to teleport out of there. I won't do too much on this run, but see what happens on our next run when I start with Isaac's Heart. And there's no way in hell I'm going to find... The boss room. Double key room. Of course it's going to be a six. So that's what usually happens if I have a good run. Or it's greed. That's not too bad. If I see a shop, I'll definitely go there. I might have already seen the shop and I don't recall. But I'll just keep looking around. I think I went in there and played the Demon Judgment. Unless that was the last floor. There's the shop. Nope, there's the library. Might as well pick that up. Please come to life. It's totally worth taking a hit just to kill that guy. That was definitely not worth taking a hit just to walk into the creep. I don't have a trinket, so I might as well take that with me. Come on. There's the shop. I didn't even see that was a key door. Strength card's always good. 
One thing I should definitely do is give as much money back as I possibly can. Yep. Now be prepared for me to walk around in circles for about 30 minutes. I want to check that out. Because I'm not 100% sure I did already, but... What was that? Then... If I check it out now, I'm probably going to check it out like five more times later. Because I've already been in that room like ten times. Okay, I've seen items on the ground. IV bag doesn't mean too much to me. I found the boss room. I found the way to the next floor. Please don't give me Curse of the Blind. Oh, okay, that's... Stop the curse of the blind, I was thinking. It was... Curse of the... Unknown? There's too many curses of the... You can't see shit. Completely forgot about multi-dimensional baby. I'm not gonna... Pop... Pop... Book of Reg... Bleh. <coughs> I'm not going to activate Book of Revelations because I'll get another bandage girl thing and that wouldn't be too bad, but I might as well hold off and see what other kind of item I can get. Red hearts would be good if I had containers to fill them up with. So I could play the demon judgment. Actually, now that I think of it. I was going to say I could pop a book of revelations. Just so I can get it. A much higher chance to get a guaranteed item I know what it is from the boss room but then I thought about it and there's not really any too bad items that you can get from the boss room like there's no game ruining things in there like I think the worst thing you can get from a boss room is pageant boy so it's not of too much concern to me even though I just popped it for no apparent reason oh well disregard what I was saying I guess don't disregard what I was saying because it all still made sense it's just I didn't implement what I was talk talking about. Also shouldn't have picked up that red heart either. That was kind of weird, the, I lost my homing, homing shot, mid shot of that. Anyways, I was shooting mom's knife and it was homing shot. Then it switched. Partway through, 
you got to take one of these. Satanic Bible, that's it's a slight upgrade from my shadow. Er, okay. Ah. <laughs> uh, Satanic Bible is a slight upgrade from Book of Revelations. But my shadow means absolutely nothing to me. Unless it somehow wins me the run. Also, should have used the strength card at some point in that deal with the devil. Actually, my shadow wasn't too bad right there. It's one item I don't exactly know how it works. I know that if you get hit, it spawns that little worm lover, loving worm dude. And I think the more you get hit, the bigger the worm goes. That just might be a dream I had. Or that just might have been something that cost me a bunch of money. Okay, I'll stop talking now. But, anyways, I'm not going to bother with the left hand because there's a good chance I'll forget to drop it. Ooh. And hermit the hell out of here. Tower is not good to press accidentally. Gonna wait until I get another battery charge. Then I will use the Satanic Bible and go back and get the other battery charge. One more room to go. Let's be safe and make it this room. I will check out that other room. I just. Don't want to die by accident. Lovers is useless. I will use the strength card. If I get another deal with the devil, which is kind of unlikely. Definitely not impossible. Let's go check out if Cricket's head is in here. Good enough. Ability to fly is fine with me. I could teleport out of here. But is this room really that much of a nuisance right now? I'm sure that I have level 4 bandage girl, don't I? Hangman's useless. Stars is not bad. Let's take stars and strength. Sounds like a good combination. Oh, I forgot about Samson's chain. This is where it hurts. Okay, just remember you have Samson's chain, so don't go over any bomb rocks or I'm not sure if there's still mushrooms at this point in the game, but there may be somewhere along the way. Ooh, that wasn't good either. I did not blow myself up on any emperor cards better than whatever other teleport card I had. If all fails, I can just go fight Isaac, and I'm sure with even one HP, I may win. Even though I can't kill one of those eyes. I 
survive that. I did get a deal with the devil. Let's think long and hard about if I want Maul the Void. Which I do. Hopefully, please don't kill me. Okay. I think Maul the Void gives you HP. So... At least I really hope it does. Ooh! Three hearts. I know my damage is ridiculous. But three hearts is a little low. Regardless of your situation, I will feel pretty bad if at some point I figure out that Book of Revelations has, ooh, less charges than Satanic Bible. However, I do have Maw the Void, which can give me demon hearts. If I play my cards right, don't want to pick up any battery charges. And I do have the Emperor card. Don't need strength anymore, but I also don't need to carry the guards around with me. I'm really happy I killed that guy before he had a chance to shoot, because... I tend to get hit by that guy a lot. Same with that dude. The real mega fatty. Two of clubs. Always, always need 86 bombs. Okay, you want to play this guy. Just to, just to get rid of all your money and see what he has to offer. Watch the knives change color. I almost double my HP on this floor, so that's a good thing. Tower card is not worth taking. I was really hoping for that to cause to be um, a Yara. Ooh, and I totally. Fuck that up. Go, meat lady. Save me. Not like I really needed her to save me, but... She was, she was there for moral support. Didn't do too much in any other aspect. Farting babies, not good. That's almost worth taking once I get a charge. It's the last time I totally threw away having the Book of Shadows. I lost the run. And seeing as how I'm taking a lot of damage anyway. Or at least any damage at all. I should probably just take it with me. But if I do see battery charges, probably better off using them for that. The one shitty thing is, and I don't know if my eyes are deceiving me or not, I feel like my homing homing knives are going after the my shadow I was thinking my Ma the void has really good damage still don't know if it scales but I think it might it feels like it does sometimes that's good I am, I think I just became Leviathan, unless I was Leviathan a long time ago. Ooh, that guy knew how to get me. Haven't used B Book of Shadows yet. I 
I will use it right now. I was gonna try to be the big man and not use it at all, but I really don't trust those dicks. And those are the guys I have no idea what their name are, name is, but I call the Mega Fatty, even though there's another Mega Fatty. This would be another great room to use Book of Shadows on. I only got hit once. But once could be enough. To completely screw me over. That was not really a room worth using that on. I could pop the Emperor card. Yep. When I'm lost, I'm lost. Have pretty much no sense of direction. Think I can handle a couple ragmen. Think I can handle one ragman and some rag spiders. You definitely don't want rag spiders in your life. Got a demon heart. From Maw the Void. Let's pop the strength card. Get in there, get all up in Isaac's face, shove my knife in him, and thank you for watching. Hopefully I keep it rolling, and have a good night.